Brazilian steakhouses are well known around the world for their unlimited meat selections and rodizio style eating. A Brazilian steakhouse is the stuff of a meat eater's dreams, but there is a lot about the tradition they originated from that you might not be aware of. In this video, we're going to unravel the 8 secrets you never knew about Brazilian steakhouses. You won't get served a fresher product if you go in after peak hours. Okay, now, this secret should be known by all because who doesn't want to savor the fresher meat? Which is why when you plan to go to a Brazilian steakhouse to have your meal, you should probably go a little earlier. Now, we're not telling you to go too early, but you've got to plan the timing perfectly. As the New York Daily News points out, you'll enjoy your meal more if you eat slowly, take smaller portions and give yourself permission to take breaks between bites, which is why you need to get there on time so that you have enough time for a leisurely meal. Additionally, if you give yourself more time, you might just be able to eat more meat than you would if you rushed. And who doesn't want more of those juicy steaks? Another tip, to truly enjoy your meal at a Brazilian steakhouse, you should definitely set aside at least one and a half hours, ideally two or even more. Brazilian barbecue dates back to the 1800s. The churrasco method of cooking originated with the gauchos, who were rural nomad horse riders who wrangled cattle for their food in the 1800s. The flavor of their meat became even more sumptuous when they started roasting it on skewers over an open flame. When serving the beef, also called rodizio, they would slice it fresh off the skewer and serve it to their family and friends. Even now, Brazilian steakhouses all across the world continue to practice this method of serving. Additionally, here are the non-meat dishes you can expect from Brazilian steakhouses. Feijoada is a traditional Brazilian black bean stew served with farofa. Farofa is a yuca flour that's toasted or sautéed and served as a side with another dish. Pau de queijo is basically Brazilian bread rolls made with cheese, and other dishes include things like polenta, fried bananas, and typical salad bar fares, such as fresh fruits, greens, and soups. You can order what you like by choosing moderation. You might feel pressured to take every piece of meat that is brought to your table because of the bewildering array of selections and the flurry of activity in a Brazilian steakhouse. We're here to tell you that you don't have to be. Remember that a Brazilian steakhouse dining experience should be leisurely rather than competitive, so how much and how quickly you consume is all up to you. The New York Daily News was instructed by Chef Bobby Flay, moderation is crucial. Instead of stuffing oneself at one large dinner, I would like to have many small bits of many different things. This implies you shouldn't feel obligated to take all the meat that is offered to you. You are more than welcome to gently refuse any meat that doesn't appeal to you. Additionally, if you see something that appeals to you, but you already have a full plate, pass it up. Save it food in front of you before piling it up again. Enjoy your meat while it's still hot and fresh. And don't worry, when you're ready for more, a brand new batch of that alluring treat will undoubtedly be waiting for you. You may always try asking a passing gaucho for it if you don't see it strolling by again. All-you-can-eat meal options are available in most Brazilian steakhouses. Brazilian steakhouses are sometimes referred to as buffets, offering a range of meals to pick from, including their vast list of meats because they originated as family-style eating experiences. The meats are cut into slices and served rodizio style, which means they are placed right onto the customer's plates. So which meats and what cuts will they have? Well, it's obvious that you will find steaks once you enter a Brazilian steakhouse. However, the main focus of these places is the dizzy array of grilled meats. They are also called churrasco, which is a Portuguese term that just means grilled beef or grilled meats. But just to let you know, there will likely be about 10 to 15 cuts of beef available when you attend. There's the picana, also known as beef sirloin cap, which refers to 
Crescent shaped top sirloin cuts with a rich fat cap on top. The marbled bottom sirloin known as flank steak is also widely used in meals like tacos and steak salads. The tri-tip steak also known as mamina is a lean cut of sirloin. Cordero, often known as lamb, can refer to lamb chops or a leg of lamb depending on the eatery. Pork sausage known as linguica is mildly smoked and cured and is seasoned with paprika and garlic. You can also expect to get served more basic items like filet mignon, chicken pork, and beef ribs, pork loin, and select fish in addition to what we mentioned here. In Brazilian steakhouses, acidic side dishes are frequently served to offset the fatty meats. The majority of side dishes in Brazilian steakhouses are quite acidic to serve as a counterbalance to the main course's heavy reliance on fat. A sauce that is frequently poured over the meat is one of the most well-liked condiments of this cuisine. Its purpose is to increase the flavor of the meat and it is known as malho campana, red and green peppers, onions, and tomatoes along with vinegar and some elementary knife skills are all that is required to prepare malo campana. Similar reasoning applies when selecting a beverage to go with your dinner. Pick something acidic to counterbalance the robust flavors of all that meat. According to Insider, Brazil's national drink, the caipirinha is simple to create at home if you don't have time to go to a steakhouse. Lime sugar and cachaca a Brazilian liquor made from fermented sugarcane are combined to create the beverage. You should avoid eating at a Brazilian steakhouse for dinner. Brazilian steakhouses are so wonderful that you could be tempted to eat there at all times, but allow us to caution you against doing so. In fact, the majority of people argue that the steakhouse should only serve lunch since if you go all out later in the day, anything can happen. Amigo Foods advises treating yourself to as much Brazilian barbecue as your heart desires over the course of a day, giving yourself plenty of time to work it off before going to bed. Any food eaten too soon before going to bed might cause heartburn, nausea, or bloating. Eating a large quantity of meat is likely to exacerbate these symptoms. It's ideal to have this meal earlier in the day, so your body can thoroughly digest it with the aid of gravity. This means no afternoon naps either if you want to truly appreciate the entire Brazilian steakhouse experience. Picanha is the most ordered dish, while the lombo is a popular choice too. The most popular meat from Brazil is picanha. The flesh from the top of the rump is called picanha and it is preferred in Brazil. It is frequently served with rice and beans and is thinly sliced. Some Brazilian steakhouses may slice up picanha off of a large skewer after it has been grilled and slowly roasted over charcoal. The meat is then cut and served immediately after the top layer has been browned. If you're not a huge fan of steak, the second most popular choice is lombo or pig loin. Only the nicest pieces of loin are preserved to grill and serve, and the meat is covered in a parmesan cheese crust. Skip the salad bar at Brazilian steakhouses. If there is anything to skip at a Brazilian steakhouse, it's without a doubt the salad bar. According to Zagat, you're much better off getting your veggies elsewhere, like maybe at breakfast and save your stomach capacity for the main event, the meat. Though the salad bar might be especially tempting due to its extensive options, it's important to keep in mind that nothing will taste as good as the freshly grilled meats. That's why you're at a steakhouse after all. A common mistake people make here is going crazy at the salad bar. Sandro Lorenzi, a meat carver at Churrascaria Plataforma, a steakhouse in New York City, says they don't save room for the meat. We can all agree that it's important to eat well-balanced meals most of the time. If you're looking for a salad, a Brazilian steakhouse is perhaps not the place for you. Which one of these facts surprised you? Let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching.